my channel today i'm showing you how to make this adorable card so i'm taking my standard 6 by 4 inch card base and then i'm taking the piece of cake by need untangled so i've just stamped my image out using my tuxedo black ink and i'm just going to color this in so i was in a rush to make this card so it didn't turn out as great as i'd like to a turn um but basically i had like the space of two hours to get two cards done and post it out before like I think it was like half past four so like I had a list of things that I needed to do but obviously not everything always goes to a schedule um so when I was supposed to make this card I ended up going to A&E um for my ribs and stuff um so obviously I couldn't make that card um so yeah this was a bit of a rush job but let me know down in the comments what you think the flavor of cake is because I asked Richard what his favorite cake was and he told me so I was trying to aim for that and then I asked one of my um, crafty friends if she could tell what kind of cake it was and she guessed and I was like no that's not what it's supposed to be so you know I was trying to make it more realistic but I don't know if I did enough a good enough job but let me know down in the comments it'd be a bit of a laugh so I'm going to insert some music and I'm going to speed this process up. I do apologize also that this stamp and all the other stamps I use in this card aren't available anymore. But sometimes you could be lucky, you might have this in your stamp set, um, in your stash. And I also found mine on eBay, so you know, maybe one day just type in it on eBay or Amazon and I can guarantee somebody is selling it somewhere. But anyways, I'm going to insert some music and I'll speed this up.
I finished cutting everything out, I'm using 3D Fluid to prop my image up. Then I brought in some embellishments to add to the card. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Follow me on my socials and check out 88 and Clear. Because they're amazing crafters and they inspire a lot of people and they are based in the US. So I will link their Facebook page down below so you can check that out. They do do lives as well, so make sure you watch one of them just to see if it's something you'd be interested in. Otherwise, guys, I will see you in my next video. Stay safe and happy crafting!